okay uh dear subscribers and viewers uh today we have the message that god intended us to learn and it's about this event will happen soon after the mark of the beast so this is not about going to heaven but this event will happen here on earth after the mark of the beast and you are going to find this event or this uh, this event on uh, the book of uh, Revelation chapter 15 is when you are going to learn this message of encouragement but still the message of warning to all of us. Let us read together verse, 15, uh, verse 1 of the book of Revelation chapter 15. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is feed up of the wrath of God. So we need to see this event. When does it take a place? And I saw, as it were, a sea of grass mingled with fire. And then, and and then that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of grass, having house of God. So we see that this this vision happened after the the mark of the beast. So let us see. And they sing the song of Moses. And the, uh, the uh, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are the works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are the ways, though King of saints. The song of Moses and the song of the Lamb, what does this mean? It means these people who come uh, after the issue and great trouble of the world and the mark of the beast and his image, these people they sing two songs. One song, the song of Moses and the song of Lamb. What does it mean? The song of Moses means the song that they sang when they were cross after the cross of the of the of, of the sea. The Red Sea. But the book of uh, Exodus chapter 15 is the song of Moses. Then they sang this uh, they sang then sang Moses and the children of Israel they sung unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has trampled gloriously the horse and his rider as he thrown into the sea. So if you, you consider this song from the beginning to the end, this song does not say anything about what mothers did or about what the people of Israel did. The whole song speaks about what God has done. So these people are going to sing the song of mothers, meaning that they will praise God for everything, means they believe all their victory did not depend on their strength or whatever they did. The victory depended only 100% from God. So they will praise God for what he has done. And the same to the song of Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ never lived to glorify himself or do what he intended but only what came from god the song of victory the song of uh depending upon god hundred percent like jesus christ so these people have the righteousness of jesus christ and still they have complete surrender to god they depend on the righteousness of god and not on their own righteousness so these people uh they they, they are these characters so we need to see that this happens after the mark of the beast. And that this shows us that these people are people who come out of those that great trouble. Okay? Verse 4 of the book of Revelation, chapter 15, it says, Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for, uh, for thou art holy? For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for the judgment are made manifest. And after that, I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having seven prags, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts gathered with golden uh, girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden fires full of the wrath of God. Who lived forever and ever, and the temple was filled with smoke from the God of God and from His power, and no man was able to enter into the temple. These seven plagues of seven angels were fulfilled. What does it mean? The the, uh, the smoke uh, from the God of God and nobody was to enter into the temple of God it means there were no mercy again. But that moment, the the probation are the closed for everyone in the world. So after the mark of the beast, probation will be closed. 
and nothing will happen in a temple. So no change can be done to human hearts after the cross of a probation. And something is going to happen. These angels had what? Seven. And the temple was filled with the smoke from the of God and from his power. No man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. So these angels of uh, plagues, as it is of a seven, and one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials uh, full of the wrath of God. So God was about to punish everyone who had the mark of the beast. Because now we have these two people, two groups. The first group are people who have not accepted the mark of the beast, who are the righteousness of God. They live to praise God and praise God for his righteousness. It means they depended upon God. They passed this period depending upon God 100%, none of them. So they did not depend on their strength that they will do this, they will survive as they prepare for this and this will happen. No praise for man, no part for man to pray uh, in, uh, in passing through this great trouble. So they depended upon God, they trusted God because the issue was so tough that it has never happened. So the, these few people have passed in the time like a most hot crucible that they have passed it, but by trusting God and having the righteousness of God, they have crossed this uh, part. But that second group is the group of those people who forced others to accept the mark of the beast, meaning they had the mark of the beast themselves. And those who accept the mark of the beast on the right hand, or those who accept the mark of the beast on their forehead, means they accepted it. They chose to accept it, and they had no... They just made a choice to do it. But others, like those who knew the truth, but they had no power to obey the truth, and they had no power to go against the mark of the beast, they didn't have uh, any way out, but only to accept so that they can survive. So these all are going to receive these seven plagues. So we better focus on Jesus Christ, and have the righteousness of Jesus. Try to have the righteousness of, of Jesus Christ and be filled by the Holy Spirit But that when this happens, you will be free, you will be able to survive and see Jesus Christ. And these seven plagues won't be uh, for you, but they will be for those who did not want to worship Jesus, who did not want to accept Jesus Christ as their own righteousness, but they sought to, uh, they sought to have their own righteousness and to do whatever it pleases in their sight. They not want to obey the word of God. They not want the personal presence of God, but they wanted to do whatever they pleased uh, to do. So, my friend, this is the moment when you need to accept Jesus Christ. This is the moment when you need to focus on God. This is the moment when we need to to be sure that Jesus Christ is coming. The world is ending, and the governments and all societies are just preparing to end up this trouble. They just want to cross us, to, to bring us all together that nobody will escape their trap. So they're just uh, cycling, they're just preparing the environment. When they say do this, nobody will turn left or right, but only to go where they want. And the, the person who really wants to go against them, they will, uh, will have prepared the way to deal with him perpendicular. So it's a matter of us to to have Jesus in our heart and focus on his righteousness and obeying the word of God, this will help us. Something bad is going to happen soon. And uh, and heavily bad will see it and no one will lie. It will be clear that this thing and the word is ending and this thing is hap which is happening, it's the power of the devil is just about to attack the kingdom of God. And so those people who, are inside, who will be on the side of God, they will have to stand on the word and trust God no matter what happens. No food, no water, no clothes, no, no good life, but they will have to trust God. And with those people who will have been living their life apart from Jesus Christ, they will have to accept the mark of the beast, either they want or not, because no 
middle ground. So my friend, it's now the time for us to choose God and to live with him. May God bless you. I'll take time to watch and share this message to every friend of yours that they may know Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Amen.